Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Sigi, and in this video, I will be reviewing the Adidas Solar Glide 4 SDs. These shoes have been purchased 100% with my own money, so you can expect a complete unbiased review. First of all, this shoe was already released quite a while ago, but I still wanted to review it because it's one, a great stability shoe, and for me personally, it was a lifesaver. In the heel, you have a stack height of 32 millimeters. In the forefoot, you have a stack height of 22 millimeters, resulting in a 10 millimeter drop. The weight, hold on, hold on, the weight, 385 grams. To be honest, never seen a shoe so heavy, and this is in my size 46. That's a definite wow. Woo, damn! The shoe is a neutral daily stability trainer, best used for those easy paces, especially due to the higher weight. Some people use them for their longer ones, but I do not recommend this. It can be used on different kind of terrains, like just simply on the road or even unpaved terrains, but more on that later in the video. As mentioned, I have the ST version. ST stands, of course, for stability. For me, the shoe was also true to size. It gives me a snug, but still a comfortable fit. That's something of which I was actually nicely surprised. The reason why I started running in a stability trainer was simply because I sprained my ankle in a race. And yeah, you can probably guess it because of the good stability and the support. Because of this shoe, I could keep running. I didn't miss a day of running after my sprained ankle. <laughs> The shoe has a stability frame, yeah of course it's a stability shoe and it will drive your foot forwards through the entire length of the shoe. The shoe is also equipped with the Adidas Boost Foam to provide you with a bit of cushioning but if you ask me, the Boost Foam, that's a bit of a firm foam. With the wider base at the forefoot and at the heel, you will definitely notice that you have a really good stability in these. The downside, of course, is due to that stability frame and the a bit bigger base and then the boost foam, that all contributes to the weight of the shoe, 385 grams. I keep repeating it. But since I was only running at slower paces, I didn't mind. For me, the most important thing was having that good protection. I didn't care about speed at all. I did try them out at paces around 10 kilometers an hour. And even at those paces, the stability was perfect. The outsole is also equipped with a continental rubber, which will provide you that necessary grip that we all need and all require. The upper itself is very thick, but yeah, I expected that a little bit because you cannot have a good stability without the necessary padding to keep your heel, ankle locked properly in place. Because of that, I also find that they are not really suited to run in a warmer climate because it will get warm. Also, the tongue is very thick padded and the heat can escape only a little bit just at the forefoot, but at the other places, not so really. Even with a swollen ankle, I still had enough room for my heel and also for my ankle because yeah, there is a lot of padding just here at the sides also. It didn't felt too tight at all, even with that swollen ankle. So that was very important for me. And also the room at the top of my forefoot because my complete foot was swollen, that also still felt really comfortable. And yeah, as you know, I live in Belgium. Yep, rainy Belgium. Oh yeah, love the climate. So if you want to run in these ones, in the rain, your feet will get wet at the forefoot. Why? Because of the ventilation. Water will get in. Yep, I had it. And also if they are wet, it takes a lot of time to get dry. It's because of all the padding. I've now done around 70 kilometers and the shoe still looks pretty, pretty good. If I look at the upper, I don't see any wear and tear. So I see that going on for a very long time. The rubber outsole is also very great. The Continental rubber is a high quality rubber. I see a little bit of wear and tear, but yeah, that's normal. I shuffled a bit my feet due to why the first days after my sprained ankle, running was not easy. Picking up those feet all the time, my god so a little bit so but still very durable my guess is that this shoe will easily reach up to 800 kilometers but there is a big but in that it will all depend of course if you go running in the rain for example as i said it takes a long while for the shoe to get dry and you could have issues that after a while the shoe will start to smell so if you run in a lot of rain i don't see that reaching 800 kilometers before you say i'm throwing it out because it smells. 
this shoe is a very good stability shoe. For me, it was a lifesaver. It still amazes me the amount of support and stability that this shoe is giving me. But yeah, I do have to admit that if you try to run at a faster pace of 10 kilometers an hour, it's not so comfortable anymore, but that is mainly due to the weight. I don't understand how people can do long ones in these. I don't recommend it. Just do shorter ones and at an easy slash recovery pace. It's also a very stiff shoe with not a lot of energy return, but in my opinion, you cannot have the best of both worlds. Once my ankle got better, I switched over to a normal shoe again. The difference was really big. The amount of stability and comfort was a lot less, but yeah, you need to adjust again to a normal shoe. In the end, I definitely recommend this shoe for everybody that has an injury or is coming back from an injury. This shoe will help you get back. There are already newer versions out than the four. There isn't the five and even already the six. I expect the same amount of stability and comfort. So do check it out. It's highly recommended. And who knows, you might get back sooner into running that you had imagined. Well, that's it everybody for this review. If you found the information useful, if you have learned something, do not forget to like and also subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any upcoming interesting videos. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.